There's nothing quite like playing Call of Duty midday and midweek to ruin your productivity and your life. What's up? This is Rockstar with Games and Gains making a video about playing Warzone left-handed on a keyboard. The majority of you playing with a keyboard use the WSAD as the up, down, left, right buttons. And if you're left-handed, you just put up with it and do the same thing too. A few of you use the keypad, not I. I use the arrow buttons and I have been since Quake and Wolfenstein. But back then, you didn't need to manipulate the map like you do now. Like, uh, you had to open doors, but you didn't have to loot, drop money, call UAVs, fly helicopters, drive cars. You can almost wipe your ass. So there are a few extra buttons that you're going to have to dedicate here on the keyboard. Let me show you my setup. Xbox with a keyboard. I have a USB hub, which adds an extra USB port, USB regular, and USB-C. I'm using up all those ports right there. You can see right here on the left. I have the Logitech wireless mouse. I forget what model it is. I'll put it in the description. Click it on the Amazon link. To the right of that, I have my regular keyboard. And to the, all the way to the right, I have a USB-C to USB-C to plug in my headsets and leave them plugged in all the time so that they stay on. That's right. How are you going to have a headset if you're using a keyboard? You have to plug in your controller to the Xbox to stay on all the time so that you can talk to your buddies as much as you don't want to do it. In fact, as you're playing with the keyboard and the controller, you have to go back and forth as you're, as you're pressing buttons. In fact, first thing you have to do is you have to go to options and here you have keyboard and mouse. You have to make sure that I'm back out of that. In fact, we'll start recording just to see, just so you can see what I'm doing. And instead of, instead of, Making this lecture all boring, we're going to jump into practice. No, I'm not going to start playing a game and get my butt kicked because it does require a little bit of time for me to get oriented back into the keyboard and mouse. So let's jump into a practice. And as soon as I'm done with this practice, I'm going to talk to you about every, what every single button I've dedicated here on the, the keyboard and my keybinds. So as you're jumping in, to deploy your, your parachute, you're going to need to hit the jump button. So I have mine as the... Um, as this button right here. I can't remember what that button is, but we'll look specifically here in a second. It's best for you to go practice before you jump into playing a keyboard and don't just go back and forth between a keyboard and mouse. Dedicate yourself to that for at least two weeks. All right, so what they want you to do here is sprint, jump, crouch, go prone, and slide. Now some buttons do two things. So let's hear this. We'll do sprint, we're jumping, and we're crouching, and we're going prone all on one button. So. One and zero, I have dedicated to going crouch and sliding. So now I use, I have dedicated to enter, opening the door and closing the door. I go over here to loot, enter, grab everything, enter, 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 change weapons uh, is the wheel on the mouse, whether it be up, up and down or pressing it. So now what it wants you to do is it wants you to shoot five targets. I, in order to aim, I use the left button and these, uh, Dummies that are popping up. See how, see how good the aiming is? All right. And then it wants you to reload. So I have reload set as delete. Now it wants you to look in the map. See, there's a bad guy on the red dot over there. They have it set as M. But I also have it set as question mark. So, so it's a little bit easier for me to get my index finger over here and, and look where, see where the bad guys are at. Climb in the map, run it over. Oh, my teammate gets shot. So now I'm aiming. See how good the aiming is? It's pretty good. Come over here, hit use to revive. But I need to put my uh, my plate on. So I hit. I have that as hash or the number button. All right. What else do I need to do? Nothing. The gate opens up. Now what they're going to have us do. Now what they're going to have us do is they're going to have us um, ping things. So I have that set up as minus over here above the, the the plus i also have another button set up for ping too i can't remember what button that is but we'll remember as as time goes on if you want to sneak in you aim and then you go open in the door just don't go blasting through the door now you want to you want to ping items see how the aiming is just so good all right i gotta ping this uh gun ping this uh shield Grab the shield, put the shield on, enter and hash. And they still want you to do a few more things. They want you to ping the location. So bad guys are over there and uh, ping weapons. There's a weapon. Oh, they want you to double, they want you to ping a hostile en enemy. So hit it twice. There's a bad guy. Cool, good job. 
Now the gate opens. Now we're coming into a gunfight. I want to sneak in the door. Let's crouch. Open it up. Sneak in. There's a bad guy. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Just swap guns. Still some bad guys over out here. Oh, yeah. Can't you tell how good my aiming is? Actually, it is really good on this. My movement kind of sucks. I can turn around super fast. Left, right, up, and down, and jumping over things does still kind of suck. But um, the aiming, that's what's... Uh, that's what's really nice on here. Sliding, looking right really fast. Where's the bad guy at? Right there he is. Going over here, reloading. The key to this is just practice, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I also got myself a, uh, a mouse pad because, oh, I'm almost dying. Jesus Christ. Mouse pad because as you're trying to do the mouse on whatever surface this is, it's almost like a glass surface. So where the hell is this bad guy? Let's go run away real quick. We're gonna put the shields on. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Shoot at random things. Where's the bad guy at? We're running, get some more ammo, sliding, looking right. Running, we're gonna grab this guy's shield and put it on. Looking left. That's right, man. The aiming on this thing is, is really good. I think there's one more guy before we have our... No, we won it. We won the demo. So next we're moving into the specific keybinds that we have for each and every button here on, on the keyboard. Now, I'm not even going to lie and pretend that this is an advanced course teaching you how to make your key bindings and slide across the map like you're a pro in Call of Duty. This is to get you off the ground. This is to get you up and running with using a keyboard, especially being left-handed, you're at a disadvantage. Now, I'm not going to talk you through every setting because a lot of these settings aren't important, though I reserve the right to retract that statement at any time because as I'm going on and learning things, I'm like, you know what? Actually, the, this setting right here, up a few degrees, inverted, hold, tap, run, what percentage of walking you want to walk at, how you want to use the use button, how you put your plates on. When you dial it down to yourself, as you're messing around with it, especially the uh, the aim. Now, I know the aim assist isn't on the keyboard, but it made me appreciate it more when I swap back to controller. Dialing down the hits, it's just this keyboard in the end made me appreciate the controller a little bit more. If swapping to the keyboard has taught me anything, it's that the default settings are not my friend. It's to play around with stuff until I get exactly what I'm looking for. We're about to jump into the key bindings and I'll ramble on as soon as I'm done with the buttons. Just keep in mind, you can play this video slower. You can rewind it if you need to see exactly the settings I'm dealing with. So let's get started with these buttons, why don't we? All right, let's start with moving forward, arrow forward, moving backwards, arrow backwards, left, left, right, right. Use, that's enter. That's to open doors and loot boxes. Jump is menu and space, that one button I talked about earlier. Crouch is number one, but we don't use that in jumping head to two. We use zero to slide, and we hold that down to lay down. Prone is number four, but like I said, we don't use that. We use zero to slide and lay down. Uh, sprint and tactical sprint is the right control button. I might change that later on to sprint all the time. Uh, gesture sprays, I don't know what button that is. Uh, center view, not sure what button that is. And then... Uh, still going through all this crap about uh, depleted ammo, sw swapping it out, swipping, switching the weapons, the delay, yada yada. I did end up making an error here. Yeah, uh, it does happen. And it screwed it up mid-game. I can't remember what the error was. I literally had to go back and default everything. Everything back to the right-handed way of doing it. And then individually swap out every single button. I forget what it was. I couldn't jump out of the helicopter. Maybe I couldn't put my plates on. I couldn't wipe my butt. I don't remember what it was. Uh, firing the weapon. It's the right button on your mouse. Aim down sight, the left button. So you hit the left and then right. Aim, then shoot. Reload is the delete button. Uh, next weapon is pressing down the wheel or turning the wheel. It's either or. Um, I, I, th I think there's an advanced portion where I'm going to get some more buttons involved in that when it comes to swapping to uh, whatever button. But like I said, that's uh, this is that's for another course. 
Weapon mount backspace. Yeah, I need to I need to start practicing with this. I also have it as Z. That's the uh, default right-handed version. Uh, this is something also I'm gonna have to play with a little bit more. Alternate fire. You know what? I have a class where I might start to use that. So um, I might use that also. Uh, stabbing the finishing move. Right shift in between control and enter. Um, it's kind of tough for me to find, but uh, I need to remember that 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 is there. Use lethal equipment. That's page up and page down. I really do not want to miss this button because the tactical using tactical equipment it's insert in home, so it's two separate buttons and two separate buttons for both the the tactical and lethal armor plates. That's the number hash. Symbol, whatever you want to call it. Night vision goggles, not using that. Using field upgrade, that's X. Now, I have that as X, so I literally have to take my hand off the arrows to press that. Um, I need to change that. Mission ability number four, I have no idea what that means. Weapon inspect, I never do that. Zoom in, zoom out, I do that with the mouse. So, oh shit, looks like my friend invited me to do a game. And, um, changing my loadout, yes. So, you know what? I might not even be in tune with this video right now, but... uh. We're gonna go down to uh, kill streak fire. Okay, missiles. Driving a car. Uh, this is tough. I'm not even gonna make it about this because I, I, it's tough for me to fly a helicopter using a uh, a mouse and keyboard. Though I can do it. Um, sometimes I've been known to jump out of the damn helicopter and swap seats while I'm flying and driving it. So, yeah. Let's see what getting out is. I think a uh, uh, jump. And then the delete button. Sorry, I'm not too specific here, but and I'm rambling on. But if you guys want me to make another video diving deeper into this, I can. Yeah, I, I really can. Um, sorry, I'm not being specific, but like I said, this is just 101. This is key bindings 101. Left-handed key bindings. So uh, the best thing for you to do is to make mistakes. Yes, you can go into the tutorial and shoot the computer generated bad guys but what you need to do is get your ass whooped by uh by a real person and see that the aim is really good and also see that you suck at moving around if you're not using a controller that's right opening a map opening a door just operating the video game is a very difficult proposition also entering lobbies you got to hit f5 for that I know I'm not in script with how I'm editing this video, but at this point it's late at night and I'm just trying to get to bed, I'm trying to get one game in and um, call it a day. I had to add a few things before I drop this video. Um, dropping equipment for your buddies. You got to hit the tab button so you have to remove your hand from the arrow keys. I need to find a more efficient way of doing that. I think I'll do it in the future, but as of right now, that's the button. Like I said earlier, you're gonna have to keep messing around with this thing because you gotta get more proficient at sliding around, swapping weapons, dropping weapons, dropping equipment, throwing grenades, throwing tacticals, getting your loadout, getting picking up your loadout. That's another difficult thing. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to using a mouse and keyboard, but when it comes to picking up your loadout, um, a controller is a heck of a lot better.